Imagine creating a plan to reconstruct Afghanistan, put together on a matrix of 32 new technologies and ideas, taking four high-tech or low-tech ideas and creating pennies on the dollar solutions to some of Afghanistan's most pressing problems. A comprehensive plan that addressed the problems of road improvement, land development, pollution control, electrical power, water management, terrorist threat, new construction and business reforms, and simply utilising what Afghanistan has in abundance as the strengths of the plan. Massive unemployment, vast wasteland, dirty water, heaping garbage and availability of dirt. Well, now just such a plan has been devised, as we will see in the following podcast. We will examine how just such ideas could just well become the blueprint to bring rapid assistance to any third world nation in times of trouble. The beauty of the plan is that every piece plays a part in another part. Every part is a brick in another part. The plan emphasises private investment instead of just aid. International charities have already given large sums of money. The only way we know to eliminate the environment of insurgents is to make them bad for business. I hope you will enjoy exploring some out-of-the-box solutions. Almost all Afghanistan's interest is in steep decline, but not yet forsaken if the problems are correctly treated. The people we have in key positions are extremely talented, world-class anywhere else. But the US administration's war plans have run up against many obstacles while the conflict continues in Afghanistan. To improve our strategy, we might just have to step outside our predispositions and learn to think like an Afghan in our foreign policy.